fabulous accent I have to <laughs> talk about. Where are you from? Um, Wales. I know this is about. <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> Wales. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> I, um, there was a Comic Con in Wales actually recently. They invited me to. I can't go, but um, it's a shame because. I'd you love should definitely go. It's, it's beautiful. Oh, I'm sure. sure. Um, so, um, American Horror Story, Pepper is obviously an amazing character. Yeah. What's your favorite thing about her? Oh, my favorite thing. Uh, I think maybe the the freedom with which I'm able to play her. I'm really not micromanaged in any way. I just kind of, they just sort of shave my head and put on a bunch of makeup and let me run loose. And it's, um, you know, um, she's so she's like an onion you just keep peeling her away and there's more and um yeah i mean there's just there's she's so complex and and constantly making discoveries and i think mtv called her the number one good guy on american horror story which and it, you know which is awesome like that's she's she's just pure love that's my answer sorry it took me a while to get there but i got there no definitely and i think obviously she's a continuing character and it's right. kind of well yeah. yeah so she's been very good to me i like that too and um, so, you, so you've obviously been um with the different seasons and obviously there's a change in kind of time and location and stuff and how as an actor do you kind of adapt and how do others adapt to those changes or you know they Well, I haven't been able to play yeah, different exactly. characters. Um, I've had my own challenges, like being consistent with this character. Let's face it, I played her two years ago and never thought I'd do it again. And then, bam, she's back. Um, but not just back, she's back ten years earlier. So I not only have to, like, you know, find her again, but, you know, what are we like ten years prior? You know, maybe a little lighter, maybe a little sprier. Yeah, so it's almost like playing in it's a different like a new character. character. Yeah, a little bit. And um, what's your favorite memory from set? Oh, you know, um, the Orphans episode was the big, you know, episode, the beginning to end sort of epic uh, origin story. And that was just so thrilling because I'd been dreaming of it all along. And, you know, and there I was kind of on set painting Jessica's nails and folding chairs and not that I you know I was happy to be there but to have really some meat to yeah. really you know sink my teeth into it was really exciting and can you tell us about any upcoming projects that you have sure um let's see I have a, a zombie a zombie comedy uh coming up this summer it should be fun to shoot uh it's called a zombie named Ted don't know really much more um uh, I have a horror film coming out in December called The Chair. Yeah. Can you tell us about that? I'm um, sure. Uh, uh, I, I, I have my very own face, which is very exciting. Um, and I, uh, it's it's a horror film, and it's about um, a, a man on death row, destined for the electric chair. And I, I play his mother. We see me in flashbacks. I pretty much got him there, to the chair. That is. I'm not a good mom. <laughs> Very bad mom. And um, lastly, uh, Comic Con is all about kind of you know geeks coming together and stuff. Like, what do you geek out over? You know, I'm not much of a geek. I um, I geek over the geeks. Like, I am. Ha I have so much fun at these things, but mostly because I'm like I'm sitting there being adored by fans. <laughs> like, what's not to love about that? You know, people say like, God, I don't know how you do it. I'm like, really, like. You mean sit there and just get like receive money to sign my name and have people come up and compliment me? You're like, it's really not that bad. You should try it. What was your favorite fan experience? Uh, I mean, I have them every day. I just got like mauled around the corner at the Fox party, um, which was crazy. It was almost like in Walking Dead when the like the zombies are coming. They're inside the car. You know, it was like that. Like rabid fans which again it's thrilling like it wasn't that long ago that I didn't have that kind of fan support so it's very it's it feels good thank you so much for talking to us thank you, thank you.